1998, Sierra Leone, West Africa. Our job is to fly the helicopters to support the war effort. This was just an ordinary run. We were taking the ammunition down to the government forces that were fighting the rebels. So I'm hanging out of the chopper and I'm looking down. I'm like, okay, I see the airfield, the firefights going on. Okay, I see the villages on fire over here. Man, we got a lot of security on the landing zone today. So I set the bird down and I notice something's not right here. In Africa, they wore a mixture of crazy uniforms. So the rebels oftentimes look like the soldiers. Hawk gets out of the chopper. He goes over and talks to this commander. It dawns on me, holy shit. I just landed in the middle of some rebels and they're getting ready to whack me. So I'm thinking of all these wonderful things running through my mind and my two kids back home. The rebels are known for cutting open pregnant women, making little kids kill their own parents with dull machetes. Out of their minds on crack, man, cocaine, they're smoking ganja. I mean, they were loaded. The typical thing over there was to cut off your nuts and cook them up and then eat them in front of you before they killed you. So I'm walking up to this guy and I'm thinking, you know what, I'm screwed. I could draw down on the guy, they'll whack me in a heartbeat. There's no way the chopper could break the plane and get out of there in time. They, they, they blow us out of the sky. All my normal options were all, oh shit. Fortunately, I had sunglasses on and that hid the pure fear in my eyes. By now, it's, I'm starting to sweat bullets. I'm just thinking, fuck. And I did the only thing that came to mind, which I reached out to the guy with a big old smile on my face, gave him a big old hug like I knew him from way back. Buddy, it's great to see you, man. I got a whole bunch of ammunition here for you and hurry up and get it unloaded because I got three more loads to get to you before nightfall. And I could see the surprise on the guy's face. And then he kind of rolled with it. Oh, this, this American thinks I'm one of his. Okay, dumb white guy. We'll take his ammunition. We'll get him on his third or fourth trip. So I'm sitting here like, hey, do you want to smoke? Sure, you know. I'm sitting there having a smoke with this killer. Dude, you all right, man? How's it going? His boys are unloading. I'm trying to not give him a moment to think how friggin' scared and terrified I am. Any second, this guy's gonna figure me out. Any second, he's gonna, he's gonna pull his AK on my temple and pop me. I pretty much knew I was done, game over. I had already made peace with the man and I was ready to go. So as the last guys are offloading the ammunition, I get on the chopper. Fire up the engines. I'm starting to get that, that little smidge of hope. The hawk says we're good to go. I don't need to be told twice. I wait until we are completely out of sight of the village and then I tell the boys what happened. And then they were all like, fuck, we got lucky. People ask, what good are contractors? It's very simple. Sierra Leone, two years of war, tens of thousands dead. One company, $5 million, five weeks, war's over. That's it.